Hello, today we're going to be installing the 502H uh, loading pump maintenance kit. Now this, this particular kit uh, parts are used on Tape Tech and Asgard tools. And again, reference on the back, it'll, it'll show you the specific pumps, the style of pumps that, that this kit will be used for. Okay, so I'm going to open it up, just kind of take the cover off here, cut the plastic clean, see what we got in here. So inside this bag, we have several pieces and you gotta be careful because some of these parts are clear. So we have um, the bottom part that goes on the pump. That's on the newer style pump. We have, we have this for the older style pumps. It's, it's the plunger cup. And then we have what they call these, um, these clear. These are the pieces that you gotta be careful of. They could become lost. So when you're taking this part out, be careful that you don't just mix those as well as this small piece here, this little, rectangular piece so we'll install these in a minute um, as well as this piece but i want to leave that where you can see it because you can see it just kind of blends in with uh, clear and we have the bottom part of the uh, gland on the pump as well this o-ring seal so we'll be installing all of these onto the the various pumps so the first thing that i'm going to do is here we have an older tape tech pump i'm going to remove the clamps remove this here Okay, we'll set the cylinder off to the side. Again, this, is, this will be all the same for all of the same the pumps. There is a different part that we're gonna install a newer pump um, as opposed to the older. So if you see here where this wiper is, we're gonna remove that from the, the, the piston itself, the rod. So I'm gonna remove this pin, Let's take this all the way out. Let that sit right there. Now what I do is I put this back in and I'll show you why in a minute. So put the little keeper pin back in there so that you'll use that later. And the reason I say that is because when we remove this part here, we're gonna use a, a ratchet. Um, the best thing, this is a 9 16 ratchet and it fits on the bottom here. And this is a lock nut and this is obviously very slippery so you can't hold it. So what you do is you'll hold your hand on this pin and then remove this. It is a lock nut so it doesn't have any washers on it. So as we remove this, and again, we're going to be replacing this part here as well as these guys here. So just remove this nut. Now, if you look on this older style pump, there's several pieces here and you got to kind of put these in order. And when I take it apart, I just lay them out in order that I remove them. It's kind of a good way to, to replace or put them back the way you found them. How many times we've put stuff together and have a part extra. So this is the first part. Okay. Then you have these metal pieces here. These will come off and you just got to take them off the thread. So there's one. Just kind of kind of separate these a little bit. This one has a little bit of material in it. So we want to do then the, the plunger cup itself plunger. We'll just remove. We just kind of unthread it from the threading. You can see this is the older style here. Um, and this is the new piece here. So we're just going to replace that. You I recommend you clean this part off. Um, now this piece here would come off as well. Again, we got the old one here, got the new one back here. So I'll keep those together. Um, and then here, these, these are called valve discs. So these valve discs, um, you don't want to leave them in sun because if they start turning yellow, they crack, they need to be pliable or flexible. So we want to make sure we keep these, um, lubricated and not out in the sunlight. So I'm going to replace that one. So again, we start from the beginning. We just put the new valve disc in, place it on here. And you'll see there's little step ups on here for these different parts to fit. There's a piece here and then there's another step in each. So it has some place to an area to move. Okay. Put this piece back on. This is, this is, this part would be from the original cause it's metal. You don't have to replace that. Then we put this new part on. Sometimes you got to kind of thread it onto the thread cause it is, there we go. And then put the me next metal piece on and the next metal piece. Okay. Now we got to kind of line all these up so that they're all looking the same and you can take a, a pointed tool or a, an awl and do that. So you line all that up and then this part just fits in over and that keeps these from spinning around this little set part here. And then we replace the nut back onto the shaft. Again, this is a lock nut, so you won't be able to do it by hand. Just use your, this is a, uh, what I say? Nine sixteenths ratchet. And again, if you hold this part here with your hand, you can just tighten these up and hold it. It's a good way to grip it. 
We'll make it nice and snug. So that's how we replace this part onto here. Okay. We'll take this out and run it back through here when we replace that. Now on the newer style pumps, on the Tape Tech newer style pumps, slightly different. I'm going to remove this, show you how to do that as well. Remove the pin. And place the pin back in. We're going to remove this again as well. And it's a lock, lock nut, so it's a little tight. Let's take this off. And again, this part will just unthread. Sometimes it's, you got to kind of move it off of there. It's got a little bit of threading there. So you have to kind of, don't just pull it straight up, just unthread this. You got to kind of pull it in and unthread it at the same time, actually. Okay, so that part comes out, and then we have the nyliner. This one we're just going to leave, so you could replace it with a new one. I can replace it. Put the new one on here. Now, on this, this new style pump, the wiper, the, this rubber piece that we're going to replace, you're going to have to remove it from this very hard plastic piece. And we just kind of set, a, again, a sharp tool or a, an awl. Just go around and kind of slide this off until it, it's removed. You can see that one's pretty oily because it's been, this tool's been cleaned. And then what we do is basically replace with the new one. Okay, so the new part, got to make sure that we put this on properly. So if we look at, I'm just going to show an Asgard one so you guys can see it as well. So you see how it's stepped up. So the larger part of this is at the bottom. So we're going to make sure that we don't flip this around and have it in, inverted. So we'll have this at the bottom. Before we do that though, I'm gonna install the wiper. And again, the wiper is important because it has sides to it. We don't wanna put this on upside down. So here's your bottom part here. The wiper part's kinda of open. We're gonna slide this on in this direction. Kinda of pop it in place and it, it fits right in. You just gotta make sure that this is, this is the top side, okay? And the bottom part here, which is solid, really hard plastic is at the bottom. And then we just reinstall it onto the shaft, like so. And again, you got to kind of thread it on a little bit and push it at the same time. This one's a fairly new tool, so it takes a little bit more. And then we reinstall the nut onto the bottom. Okay, again, we're going to reinstall this back up in here, have the pin lined up. Sometimes people take these pins out when they're storing their tools. It's, it's best to, it's good to do that, but when you always replace your pin, just don't leave it laying somewhere because this becomes lost. And we put the cylinder back in. And that part has been replaced. And again, this Asgard is the same. I'm just going to put this cylinder back on. As we know, there's only one way that the cylinder goes. If you get your clamps reversed, you just have to tilt it around. Now, if it has a decal on it, the decal is always facing out. Okay, so those two tools are repaired. Now, back to this tool. Um, we have a few more repairs in this kit that I'm going to have to show you how to replace. Um, uh, there's a gland, there's a, a nylon liner that goes on the top of the tool. And what we have to do here, so if you look right, right here, you have this hex. And I want to say it's, uh, what is it, three? Well, it's hard to see the number, but it's, uh, well, three sixteenths, the size of the hex wrench. What we want to do is loosen or remove this little screw here. You can just loosen it up. Um, that holds this brass piece in place. Now, this one pops right out. If, if you have trouble popping that out, I don't like using pliers, but what you can do is take a rag or some material and put this over. Let's see if I can maybe show it this way better. So take, just don't grab this with your pliers because it's, it's brass and it'll nick. And you can kind of grab it with the rag and pull it out like so. 
Again, we're just protecting the brass width from the pliers. This one came right out, so didn't really have to pull it out too bad, but you're gonna remove that part, okay? And down inside here, see if I can get a little pick in here to get it out. There's this little rubber piece, and you want, you want to use, again, this, this sharp tool just to kind of move it out, and then this, this is just removed that way. You just take it out with that all. This little piece right here is replaced with the face down. And we'll put the new piece in. And again, you got to kind of work it in there because it's new. You want to make sure that it's seated properly. So take your finger and kind of push it around so that it's seated properly in there. Okay. Now, inside of this brass gland, there's a little piece of nylon. And this is a little, this is a small piece here that you see that's clear that I showed you earlier. And again, I'm going to remove the piece in here. It's hard to get a hold of, but you can, uh, you can find its edge and then you can just kind of, again, this one's been in there for a while, so it's really pushed in good. You can get under it if you can. And I actually got a hold of it that way. So you can see how that piece just kind of came out. So it'll be worn and it'll be rounded when you pull it out. And what you have to do with this one, this piece here, you're going to kind of form it into a circle and just work it into this brass gland. And you can fold it inside of itself and then it'll pop into place once it's inside of there. You, got, you might have to work it in there, make sure that it's not overlapping, but basically it sits inside of there like that. And then this piece will slide inside of there. And you can make sure, this, this one's pretty tight, but that it fits in there, and this one's, this one's good. Again, we just replaced this brass back on top, and you have this little piece here, and you need to make sure that this is flat all the way down. Tighten up this screw. You really want to tighten this up so it doesn't come loose. Replace the shaft back inside. Hands are really slippery now. Replace this. Put your pin back in. Line that up. We're all set here. We we'll replace the, can the canister here back on, and that that part there should be sealed. Working 502H kit. That's how we replace those parts on these different pumps on the Tape Tech pumps and the Asgard pump as well.